Hi everybody and welcome back to Vlogmas with Amanda Muse. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I got almost like the first week under wraps. High five. Awesome. So today what I thought I would do is share with you guys my buys. So what I purchased while I was in Canada. And let me tell you, I had plans to buy a heck of a lot more. But quite frankly, it just like, it just didn't work out. I don't know what happened. It's probably for the best. I know my husband is like thanking his lucky charms for that. But yeah, it just, I don't know, man. Like, have you ever traveled with a two-year-old? You don't really get time to shop. She doesn't sleep anymore in the stroller. So it's not like we were in the mall and she was snoozing and I could like just peruse the aisles. No, there was none of that. It was like, I was with my dad most of the time and I'd be like, dad, okay, you watch it for 10 minutes. I'll be right back. You can't get anything done in 10 minutes. And quite frankly, the shopper's drug mart that I went to was like so crappy. So, ugh. Anyways, I didn't spend a lot of money. It's probably for the best. And the other thing of it is, is like whatever I can't get here, I mean, you get, you can't, might not get what you want, but you get what you need, you know? I really don't think they meant for it to be in relation to shopping, but I'm using that lyric for that purpose today. Okay, so we'll start with shopper's drug mart. I walked up and down the aisles and tried my best to like find some fun things that I couldn't get here and that was my whole thing was like don't buy what you already have because what's the point of that? The first thing that I picked up was one of these bad boys, these little EOS lip balms which are so stinking adorable. This one is in the flavor Blueberry Akai if I'm not mistaken. I like it, they're adorable packaging. Esme really likes it, it's a good bribe thing actually because she can't quite open it. So I'm like hey you want to hold this special lip gloss and lip balm, I always say lip gloss anyway so yeah this was really fun um, my friend actually Carly when she was here she gave me her mint one which is the it's like a mint green color so now I have two and I'm very excited about this the other thing I picked up was this Revlon color stay concealer now of course I have no idea if I chose the right color you can see it's still in the packaging this is in the color let's see light I don't know if it's gonna be light enough but we'll see um, for some reason in Asia, or at least here in Malaysia, you can only get like three shades and the lightest is not light enough for me, so I'm hoping this works. It looks pretty light um, in the container and anyways, we'll see. I heard a lot of good stuff about this, a lot of YouTuber makeup gurus talk about this and um, I'm excited to try it. I also scored two Maybelline color tattoos and I was really excited about these. I've been looking for these colors because these are colors I would wear like all the time. This one's a pearly color and this is in the color barely branded and this is more of a frosty pink color in inked in pink definitely colors I think that go well with my skin tone and my eye color which is green and they don't have them in Asia so I was super stoked and I grabbed two of these and another makeup item I picked up was this to be honest why did I even buy this I don't know um, I don't really need actually I do need a new mascara so it's probably good timing but I have no idea like what the deal is with this one this is just covergirl lash blast fusion and I think I like that it was volume and length mascara and it's pretty cool in Canada when you buy your mascara they're separated so you can actually see the brush beforehand which is not the case here in Malaysia when you buy your mascara here it's already together and it's not in the packaging so Malaysia seems to get it right when you think of like just, you know, environmentally, there's not all this extra packaging, but kind of cool to see what you're getting beforehand. So I like that. And I got it in the color black. So we'll see how this goes. I also picked up just a random item. This is Arnica and this is from Rub A535. And you're probably thinking, oh, what the heck is this? Arnica is really good to use on sore muscles and joints. Like Rub A535 is probably something you've heard for like muscle pain, but specifically Arnica, uh, my massage therapist, who was awesome. I used to see her in Vancouver all the time. She was amazing. When she'd do like a really deep tissue massage, she would use Arnica on my on my body and it really, really worked. And my husband does a lot of big hikes and things and he gets really sore calves. So I thought this would be good for him and I could not find this in Malaysia. Let's be honest, I didn't really look that hard, but when I saw it just like gleaming out at me in the aisles and shoppers, I thought, okay, let's just throw this in the bin. So this was another one added to our purchase. After my mini shoppers little thing, and that was it. Can you imagine that was it? That's all I could really see. To be fair, a lot of the makeup products were really beautiful. They were very holiday inspired, so they were rather dark in tone and color. And I live in a tropical country, so it's like, that's not really gonna fly on a regular basis. Like I do have some really nice deep berry hued lip colors, 
but I don't wear them as often as you probably would in a cooler climate place. And the other thing is I have to be realistic. Like in a matter of three months, I'm going to be a new mommy once again to a brand spanking new baby boy. And the reality is how often am I actually going to be applying makeup? So I was being very realistic in my purchases. So not so fun for the, for the Amanda right now, but I was thinking more about the Amanda in three months time. So I saved a little bit there and Christmas is coming. So I can't be spending all this money on myself, you know? That said, I definitely hit up Lush. I was so excited to get to Lush. Again, I had like no time and Lush is like a freaking heaven for toddlers. Esme thought all of it was edible and it smells so good and she was just running around and they had all of their Christmas packaging out so she kept like taking boxes and trying to take them out of the store to bring them to grandpa who was like guarding the stroller. Oh, shopping with kids. It's not nearly as fun as you would think. But I did get a few things. The first thing I got was this, and this is the popcorn lip scrub. I saw this pop up on a few people's purchase lists, like when they would be going to Lush via YouTube. So YouTube and those people, awesome. And I didn't know what the big fuss was about, but I've never really tried a lip scrub, and I thought this could be fun. And I thought popcorn, that's weird. It smells so good. It smells nothing like popcorn. So I don't quite understand that, but it's like a sugary type scrub. Again, I haven't used it, so I'm not really reviewing any of these products because I'm just excited to try it. But basically it just buffs off your lips. You know, you can buff your lips and make them look pretty and then you lick off the excess and it makes your lips nice and smooth. So I'm really excited to give this a try. I then picked up two soaps, just little, just little ones, just for a fun little treat for me and the hubby. For myself, I got snow cake. Love the smell of this. Oh, it's so nice. And the and the description, by the way, is a warming almond mousse soap, perfect to use on a cold winter night or on a warm tropical evening. <laughs> so I thought it was really, really nice. It's just such a nice, warm scent, and it's a white soap. Um, I won't open it yet because I want to keep it nice for myself. And then for my husband, it's already in the shower. I got him the Demon in the Dark, which is, I think it says like crisp apple and mint. And it's just a very refreshing type of soap. It's really nice to use like in the mornings when you're just, you know, starting your day out or whatever. It smells divine. So that's what I picked up at Lush. Then we were on our way out of the mall and I was like, what else do I need to buy? I couldn't think of anything else really. Um, I had a few things for baby that I wanted to get, but I just never ended up getting around to that. So I'll have to like add that to my wish list for my in-laws who are coming for the birth of the baby. So that's really exciting. So I'll probably have a few things that, for them to bring. Um, but we did have to walk through chapters because I was on a mission to have one more eggnog latte before I left. And on my way out, I picked up three things. So I got two books for Esme. The first, I couldn't resist, ABC of Canada. Just thought this was so cute and it's like a nice hard book. And you know, very simple. D is for dog sled and you know, what is this one? O is for Ottawa. So just really sweet. She is a little Canuck and so it's nice for her to have something like this from her little trip to Canada, her first visit, I should mention. And then I also picked up The Gruffalo. I have been having such a difficult time trying to find this book in Penang. I was like, every time I go to the bookstore, it's not there. So I was about to order it online and then they had it. So I picked it up. Um, it's just like a real classic. The kids love it. These just cards are really hard to find in Malaysia. Um, I don't know. It's just I can never find them. And they're, last year I had to order them from like a website where it was handmade and it was really beautiful, but it was just a little complicated. So it's kind of nice just to pick up a box of Christmas cards. So I got a box here. I love sending out Christmas cards, but it's already the 7th, the 6th. I don't even know what day it is. So I really need to get like, if I'm going to send any out, I got to send them out ASAP. So my loved ones, you might be seeing these in the mail sometime soon, maybe in the new year. <laughs> And then the last thing I picked up, which is actually in Esme's room, well, there's two things. The last thing from uh, chapters I bought was, other mommies have probably seen this, but it's this turtle, and the shell of the turtle has all these stars in it and a moon, and when you turn it on, it lights up the ceiling of the room in the colors blue, like an amber color, or green, and it's basically stars and a moon, the lights are all off and it's really dark in the room, it's a beautiful nightlight. Plus it's kind of like a toy, it's a soft toy. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, we need to try this. So I've bought that for her, it's in her room right now. And I'm not sure if I told you guys, but I'm transitioning Esme to her own room. And so this is just like a nice feature to kind of include into our nighttime routine. Um, and if she needs to turn it on in the night, she knows how to do that. So 
that was something else we added. I'll include a picture somewhere around here so that you can actually see it. And that's about it. I also picked up a Doc McStuffins uh, fleecy blanket for Esme's bed. So knowing that her room, we've just redone her, we just did a room for her, so she has her first room. And the colors are like pink and purple, so it would go perfect with this Doc McStuffins type of blankie. So I bought that for her, she loves that show. Anyways, that's it, so that's what I purchased. Not terribly a lot, but it's just what I needed and I'm really happy with what I got and I'm excited to try some of those little makeup items. And I mean, really, I can get so much here. We have Sephora, we have, we have you know, lots of shopping that we can do here, so I'm not exactly lacking in the makeup department, you know? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to catch all of Vlogmas this December and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.